Alright, sorry everyone, whenever I mention this video being the penultimate one, it's actually not. The next episode will be the penultimate tutorial because we've added one more tutorial video which was requested by a viewer. So this one is not actually the penultimate one. But, just so whenever I say this is the penultimate, just ignore it. Sorry. Hey everyone, welcome to the penultimate tutorial of this series. That is correct. The penultimate tutorial. Here we go. Next episode is going to be our final tutorial of the series. We're then going to be releasing a recap video. And then after that, it might be like a week after or something like that. I want to release a full course onto YouTube. So like every episode in one video. It'll be a few hours long, but like then you can watch the whole thing without having to, you know, skip to other videos and stuff. Alright, let's go. So, this episode we're going to be making products, developer products, I know. Let's go. We're, so, the way we're going to do this, we're going to duplicate the Game Pass shop. We're going to completely duplicate the whole thing. We're then going to make this product, oops, product, oh, I can't spell, product shop. I know, amazing. Then, we're going to leave the local script for now. We're going to leave the G open, but then we're going to get this open button. And this, I'm gonna drag it out over to here. And you lot might want to change this image button. I'm just gonna delete it. Then I'm gonna make this text say. I'm gonna make the text say shop. No, uh, dev products. You lot can do whatever you. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Do whatever you want for the dev products. But I'm gonna be doing this. There we are. Make whatever image and stuff you want. We're going to add in a local script into this text button. I'm going to be writing this code into it. Now, before we write this, what is this script here? A load of rubbish. We don't need it. Get rid of this entire... Whoops. <laughs> Get rid of this entire script. We are not going to need it. And I just realised this is the wrong thing. Delete this. Clear everything out of this local script. Forget about it. It's the wrong script. We're all going to say script.parent.com mouse button one click colon connect function so this is going to say whenever the button is clicked we're going to say script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot g shop equals not no dot no dot visible sorry equals not and then um script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot g shop dot visible so then this will keeps flicking between the visibilities awesome now we can open up our v shop this script here uh, our g shop sorry yep can leave that as it is we can we're going to want to enable the g shop so we can see and we're going to delete this we're going to delete that and we're going to delete that so we've only got the top one we're now going to leave the line off and everything there this will be uh, this is going to become purchase 200 uh, and this I'm going to say purchase gems or whatever not gems I'm going to make this purchase coins rather than gems and it's going to be 100 coins no let's be more generous be a thousand coins obviously you lot will want to adjust these to your liking I'm just going to do this for the sake of the series please do not try to scam your users, it will not go down well with them and Roblox. So please be sensible, make sensible purchase um, prices and stuff. Now, inside this text button here, we're going to add in a local script and write this in it. So we're going to say local dev product equals zero. We're just going to leave that uh, zero for now, put down six zeros. Or whatever, let's just do a couple more. And then so let's say local service equals game colon get service marketplace service. So this is going to get the marketplace service so we can actually access the game products. Scripts dot parent dot mouse button one click. No mouse. If I could spell mouse button one click colon connect function. Service, so this is when the button's clicked. We're gonna service code on prompt product 
purchase, so we're actually going to prompt the purchase. Then we need to send in two arguments, which is going to be the player, so game.players.localplayer, and the dev product, which is the, I, or the ID, which is the dev product I, w variable. Now we can clear that. Now we need to go get the product ID, but we'll do that afterwards. So we're just going to leave this script open for now, not do too much about it. I'm not going to rename this. Uh, oh yeah, I will. I'll just rename this to buy. Actually, I'll rename this to one. Now we're going to make a new script in server script service. This uh, set a script. This is going to. Uh, not a screen GUI. <laughs> a script. Script if I could. There we are. Okay, inside the script, we've got this to write. Now, this is long, I'm aware. <laughs> we do not need all of this. We do not need all of this, everyone. We only need that. Okay, that's all we need. This is the enum thing I was on about, by the way. This is the enum thing I was on about. We're going to say receipt equals function receipts info so we can get the info of the receipt which is the thing we're gonna buy local player equals game dot players colon get player by user ID receipt info dot player ID if receipt info dot product ID so if this doesn't make too much sense it's quite hard to explain but trust me it'll work and then this is gonna be a lot of zeros again then player dot this is where we're gonna add our award dot leader stats dot in our case coins whoops dot value plus equals I think it was a thousand we were doing wasn't it yep a thousand coins and there we go now we can close off that and we need to get our product ID we're gonna come back to the product ID just for now we're gonna do all those at the end so let's duplicate this frame. This will become frame two. This is going to be for five thousand coins. I'm only going to make three in this video, by the way. You can make as many as you want. It doesn't take very long. Don't change anything there for now. Let's also close off all these scripts. We'll come back to them. And this is the final one I'm going to make for now. Is that? And I'm going to. This is going to be for 50,000. No, no, this will be 20,000 coins. And uh, I'm going to go in here and we don't we don't need to. I don't it's just have it. Now we're going to want to go over to roblox.com forward slash develop sign into your account, go to your experiences, find your game, click on the edit button, then click on configure start place. Next, you're going to click on developer products. Okay, so this is what I've done. So the name is how much it's going to, is basically what you're purchasing. So 1,000 coins. The price in Robux is how many Robux it's going to cost. 15. Uh, you don't need an image. You can if you want. You don't need a description. I'm going to do it anyway. Now it's going to say product and a number here. We're going, to, we're going to copy this number. If you don't see this, you can refresh the page. Go back down to developer products and it'll be there in the ID. Just copy the ID. You can then, we can close that now. Head over to here. In this number one, we're going to see the dev product equals. Put a paste in there. In this, uh, where is it? Date. This script here also we want to rename to product handler. In this product handler script, we've got, we're going to paste in our ID. And we're going to make three of these. So we're going to say boom, boom. We don't actually need the enum thing, but I'm going to add it anyway. So we're going to say return enum dot uh, receipt. No, it wasn't receipt, was it? Whoa. We're going to type it <laughs> enum dot product purchase decision dot purchase granted. That's what we're going to say. Return and then that. Now we're going to put this in there. This will just let the game know that the purchase has been granted. This is going to be plus 20, 1, 2, 3. And then this is going to be, what's this, 5, 1, 2, 3. Yep, 5 and 20. So these are your different rewards. We can then delete this one down here. 
Now, we just need to get these different product IDs. So we've done number one, next is number two for 5,000 coins. So let's create new. I'm going to make this 75 Robux. It doesn't really make sense. Like, uh, I'm going to make this 75 Robux. Then create. Copy the ID. And I'm going to go in here. And right here, I'm going to put in there. And then the product ID for the boom. And then just got to do the last one. I'm sure you get used to it now. Robux. Create. Copy the uh, ID for it. Click save when you're done as well. Because we're not going to come back to that now. Now let's go into the third area. Let's put paste in our new ID. Go to our product handler. And there. Boom. Now we can hide our G shop. And let's give this a go. So let's go test play. With all hope this will work. Just click dev product. Let's look at our coins. 1025. It should go to 2025 when we buy this. You can see it prompts us. And it goes to 2025 when we buy it. Now let's do the same for 5,000. It should go to 7,025. And it does. And now it should go to 27,025. And it does. So all of our game passes work now. And by the way, when you test these in studio, your account's not charged. It says here, this is a test purchase. Your account will not be charged. So even states there that you will not, no Robux will be taken off your account for this. So don't worry. It's because you're just testing. Anyway, there you are. That works now. So that's it. So that's all I wanted to show you. That is it for the penultimate tutorial. Next video, we are going to be going over the UI improvement. And last but not least, we are going to be making the UI collapse in and out. And then we are going to be done for the rest of the series. And it, it was a good series. I actually had fun making the series. So I'll see you in the next episode, everyone. Thanks for sticking this long way. And goodbye.